All right, Teresa, this is a, hopefully going to be helpful for you, but I typically start off with a Pantene detangler or I start off with the Isle of Dogs detangler and I do a little spritz on top of the head and I work it in and get a little bit of a product, but it's not going to be too overbearing and it's not going to be too um, light. Okay, so you back. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush her hair from the top down when I have the hair dryer on. So you're not going to be able to hear me talking when I have the hair dryer on, but you'll be able to see the results. I go from the back of the occipitus forward to the nose, making sure to get the back of the ears really good, no mats. Then once I get it dried downward, then we're going to go back the other way and get the top of it. So that's what you'll see next. All right, here goes the hair dryer. Then, once I've got the top done and the backs, then we do the little whiskers on the front. And I go from the corner of the eye forward to make sure there's no mats that are on the jaw. And you can see there's one on her little muzzle there. So I'm going to work that out. Going just a little bit at a time. Now, yes, she is almost three years old, and I still put a little noose on her so that she'll know she is supposed to stay still. Mommy is working with her, and you can see now 
We don't have any mats on our chinny chin. Now I've got to still dry the inside of her ear so that she doesn't get any ear infections. So I'll flip that back out and you can see how it's nice, pink, and still wet. And if she has ear hair, which she doesn't because Haley's, she's one of the babies that doesn't have, uh, she's from Luna. So Luna never really had ear hair. Um, but all of that will need to be brushed and dried. So we'll do that now. All right, now if Haley were to be one of the dogs that had a little bit of tear staining, what I would do is if it were wet on show day, not just around the house, what I would do, because she's not a tearer, but I would take just a pinch and I would put it right there and it would just be just a small amount right there to dry up those tears. Now, Haley doesn't have that, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, of course, the clear mascara, what I do is I grab the muzzle and I brush it or comb it the way I want it to go up. And I'm only going to do this small part right here because that's the part that I want to stay back out of her eyes and that's all I'm doing is that little bitty part and then I'm gonna dry it just by blowing on it and then it should be dry enough for me to kind of push it a little bit and now you can see how it'll hold some naturally the other part of the mascara, which I'm not going to do on her, I would put a little bit right here in the corner and right here in the corner, and I'd pull it down probably about an eighth of an inch right there just to hold those hairs down. Now, the next part would be to use some hairspray. There's a couple different ways you can do this. And what I typically do, well, each dog is a little different because Haley's really good with keeping her hair back. But I use like a Nexus and I don't do a firm hold. I just do a finishing mist that is a light hairspray. Now, I do have some that's a much stiffer hairspray, but I don't like to use that on a regular basis. So, if I'm getting ready to do this for show, and I'm getting her ready at the ring side, I'm going to be making use of a hair bow. And this hair bow is one that, and of course I dropped it on the floor, um, this hair bow is one that has a clamp on it so I can release the clamp so I can release the clamp just as I'm getting ready to go in so you can see this has got like a metal bracket type thing and it's small so sit down Haley mommy's got to do your hair so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush this hair back And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch it up, stop, where I want it to be in the back. And I put it at the occipitus because I don't want to make creases in the hair before we go in. So I put this clamp right back here at the back. And hopefully you can see that. So then what I do is I will take my hairspray. I'll cover the nose and the eyes. And I'll do my hairspray. And then I'll do a little bit of a comb back. And then I push it forward. Okay. 
There we go. Now, that is basically all I do to get ready for a show. Sit down. Sit down. And see, you've already got your hair messed up. And then, of course, leaving all of this natural and light to flow. And that's my show head. Now, when we get ready to go in, if I have enough time, I will probably put a little dab of this hairspray on the table and I'll put my finger in it and then I'll go over here to the side so that we can hold the hair back, do a little bit of a comb up, and that is just to give that little gentle area a little more of a firm look. Now, when I take the hair bow out and I've got her lead in, you see how her hair is hopefully going to hold in that position. And if I need to, I have too much strong hair spray, then I just do a little light comb right before we go in to the ring. But I push this forward just a little bit to give it that little Havanese poof. Haley, looking up at Mama. Now that is a pretty head. Ready for a show. And of course she is minus part of her hair because somebody chewed her top knot off. Looking up here. There we go. 